Me, 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 Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? Something like that. Nailed it. Today, we've got a whole lot of horse Ah, manure, manure. The topic of today is soil conditioning. So it's winter right now and there isn't really much going on. But <laughs> that's better. <clears throat> so what is soil conditioning amendment or improvement, you might ask? And that's basically improving the soil's quality and usually we're talking about its fertility. It depends what plants you're growing, on what levels of fertility they need, but they all basically fall under these points. And today we're going to talk about four points of those before I get into the work. The four points are tilth, water retention, nutrient retention, and organic matter. Tilth is the actual physical condition of the soil when you're looking at aggregates or clumps and also the level of drainage and levels of aeration in the soil. When it comes to water retention, how, how well does the soil hold water and let it go? Here we're looking at a very thin line between holding the water but also releasing it. And so it's one of those little things that you have to just get it just right. There I'm pretty lucky because we have sandy soil. Most of the time water retention is a problem on the side of adding. I, and that's one reason I want to work with the horse manure. When it comes to nutrient retention, clay is very good at retaining the nutrients, but the problem is compaction. And on the other side, you have what I have, which is a lower fertility in sandy soil, but excellent drainage and aeration. So we're trying to find a middle ground there. The last point is organic matter. Organic matter both helps in nutrient retention as well as water retention. And that is one reason I'm going with this. So just as a note, fresh manure shouldn't be put on plants because it will burn the roots caused by the high levels of nitrogen, ammonium, and salts therein. I left some of it to break down in the vegetable bed and others directly to break down over winter, and I'm chancing that the current and the gooseberry bushes will survive. In the future, I will let it break down over winter in a pile on the bed and then spread it out over the garden. It's also a trade-off of nutrients for more weeds. But with mulching, I was able to mostly overcome this. Typical composting time for horse manure is around two or three months if done properly, which I did not, but I did give it a few months to break down nonetheless. Horse manure is ready when it looks like soil and doesn't smell like manure. Composting should help take care of the weed problem as well as any harmful bacterial that may be there, such as E. coli. You also have to remember, and this is one thing that I, I haven't said before, but I really should. I was reading a book by Alan Titchmarch, and I'll, I'll link it with the sources. And it was basically saying that a weed is any plant that you do not want to have in your garden in a specific place. And so a lot of people think of the typical weeds of dandelion or such, but I mean, to be honest, most of my weed problem are tomato plants, tomatoes and peppers, and this year was actually quite a bit of pumpkins. And so that being said, the main reason I'm starting with manure is that we have a lot of it and it's free. Using manure significantly improves soil drainage and soil aeration, as well as adding nutrients to it. So that's what we're gonna get going with today. Let's just dig down into it and get to the fun of dropping a ton of horse <laughs> Sit back, relax, enjoy a little bit of music and a lot of digging and uh, maybe a little bit of a time lapse.
as we like to say, a family that shovels shit together stays together.
I love it when you make it to the end. You guys are my guys and gals. It turned out this ended up being a lot longer than I thought, so I'm gonna break it into two parts. I look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks for joining me and have yourself a wonderful day.